Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Hibiki's Loot Crate Unboxing. Uh, I am Dexter, your host, with my uh, friend Joe and our special guest Ben. So, as basic, Ben is a new person here and said, yeah, I'm my second time. Why are you here? Well, he said. Mm. Mm. That is the question. Why? <laughs> Always why? Uh, no, I won the prom photo thingy with Wim Wim Wimmouth College. College yeah. uh, I just made a tit of myself on camera, much like I'm doing here today. <laughs> <laughs> so, so good it brought me back again so we have this month's loot crate galactic I'm, galactic crew I'm very very excited uh, as you can see I'm wearing a special hat it's, for special people it yes. is a special it's a fine hat it's a fine looking hat but anyway I, I have to open this now yes. because I've been waiting for ages. look out he's got a knife <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who don't know what um, Dex is actually wearing here if it's actually yeah if you, you don't, don't if you don't, if you, don't you suck uh <laughs> No, it is the hat that Jane wears in Firefly, which is an amazing TV series. Yes. That was God unfortunately cut short. Damn you. Damn you, Fox, you've cut okay. it too short. So, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okie dokie. Should we all grab a piece at a time, or? <sighs> uh, we'll just place it out, so. That oh. is a very, that is very cute that is a tribble. That is a tribble from Star Trek. So that is so cool. And then we have Pop Rocks! Green Apple Pop Rocks. <laughs> I think I'm taking those. There's a mine. There's a mine. I had no idea what this thing is. Science fiction figure. That is cool. That is a action figure from Alien. From the original, from back from and that is the late 70s, what early proper 80s. actual action figures should look like, not... Like the really weird whichever one, they have now. Whichever one of us is taking that on, I believe Abby called dibs on that one. <laughs> Look at her, just she's, biting her. She's, she's, she's biting her head. Yeah, you can't see this. You can get... We've got Ty and Abby behind us doing the photography, and Abby is literally Ab trying not to jump up and down and if, try and grab it. If you do take that on, Abby, whatever you do, don't open it. She's shaking her head very vigorously uh, right carry now. Carry on, we've got the it, standard dirt badge. Yes. We can talk about that in just a second. Okay, we have so much stuff here. <gasps> oh! Fridge magnet. What are those? Is that? That's the money from Firefly. That's mine. No way. That's banknotes from the bank robbery. Uh, well, is it robbery? Yeah. Is, yeah. That, is it from the bank robbery in Serenity, or is it actually just notes no. from it anyway? Should we take the thingy? Off? Don't take the thing off. No, 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 no. Okay. Keep it. Just keep it all together. Because on the other side, it's got the money. How much there is? I think it's ten thousand. As usual, you've got a fridge magnet, and this one is actually quite cool Ooh. because it's <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's a mix of asteroids. As in the old uh, 2D shooter game. Oh, but what they've done is, it's Star Wars. You've got a Star Destroyer, you've got the Millennium Falcon, it's Empire it's Strikes the, Back asteroid. Did field. they put the... Um, yes, they've got the uh, worm on it. The worm. The worm. Oh my god, it is the it's got the worm. It's got the you, worm. You will, when you see this, when we cut to it in about three seconds time, you will love what we're talking about. Oh it, it's awesome. God. Loot Crate um, Savings leaflet. There's always oh, all amazing oh, things oh, you can oh, get from Loot Crate. It's good. Oh, okay, Ooh. I do apologise, I was wrong. We do have a booklet this time. Oh, I thought nice. it was just a sheet of paper, but no, we What's have on it. The uh, on, sorry, on, on, on the front. Oh, it's, one of, it's Darth. We have Darth Vader and... Um, one of the carrier things from Alien. Yep, Ellen Ripley in a carrier. And then on the back we've got Mal, Mal some Tribbles, and R2-D2. R2 with a loot crate in the background. Oh, and, wow. as <laughs> always, the There's... box inside is the interior of Serenity, the Firefly ship. No, that's Waylon Nutani. Nah, there's is a, it? There's a fox there with a W and a Y. Oh. Well, it could be the inside of the ship. Yeah, no, it is. Because there's it also is, an, ast yeah. there's an astromech there. So that's. Uh, it is, it's, 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 it's a mixture of all. done everything. And, oh. and then there's also uh, Halo X. Es <laughs> Escalation. Who bags you all the Star Wars stuff? Uh, no one, I think. Did you bag you Star Wars? Oh. 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 <laughs> I thought I'd just. Straight that up, straight is up. awesome. That is an amazing. Well, waste. Lando Calrissian, is he alive? <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> just to kind of, we'll talk about it's a trap. everything. It's a trap. It's a trap. In sequence, that is that is awesome. Ooh. Oh. What? This it's uh, online comic by Dark Horse. No way. Are they yeah. still going? Yeah, Dark Horse Digital. Um, it's well, it's a following by the looks of things. Palmer and Lasky on the uh, UNSC Infinity because I am a bit of a Halo geek, so that would be <laughs> problem. It, it might be just on, before uh, Halo Four. It might be just after. I this is kind of cool. We've got um, 
well, on, on the info, inside of the booklet, we've got the Star Wars crawl, but for years we've, you know what, you read it. You've got, oh, you've got a better, you've got a deeper voice. Put on a voice for us, please. <laughs> for years we've dreamed up of the fictional worlds. No. Concept <laughs> <laughs> Concepts and fantasies of, uh, I can't read this. I'm a little bit too excited and I want to get hold of everything else. For years, we've oh. dreamed up the, uh, the fictional... They've put it stuck... It's yeah, it's, it's, it's all crossing over as well. It, it's, tell it's, you what, we'll fill it in later on. We'll show you what we're talking about. Boop. Insert cut. Here. Is it with you and Tic Tacs? They're lovely. They're minty so, but, and fresh. Yeah. He's used to playing with a Tic Tac. It's... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, would you like to start telling everyone and showing one about the amazing Tribble? Yes, that was of the course. First thing that came out the I box. will not open it up, but basically, uh, Tribbles are a small pet type animal from the Star Trek original series. They appear in the whole universe. But the idea is that you are not supposed to feed them because I can't remember what the word for it is, but you feed it and it gives birth to about five or six more of them. And then they eat five or six more, five or six more. You've basically got gremlins on your hands pretty much. Um, the Klingons hate them. I remember watching as a kid an episode of Deep Space Nine where it explains why the Klingons hate them. They ate all the vegetation on the Klingon homeworld. So they had to re -move, they had to move to another planet, basically. On the plus side, if you're like stuck on a desert island and you've only got like a little bit of food, you just feed one tribble a little bit of food. Oh, there we go. Actually, you know what? Five I, can more. Open it. I thought it was taped down, but here we go. Ooh, it's actually really soft as well. For those of you that haven't seen the uh, like original Bond series, uh, it's oh. the weird dead thing that he injects with the magic blood in yes. the movie. Yes, uh, Star Trek Two. Yeah. Yes. Into darkness, he just goes. Pfft. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're all making noise over there. But anyway, that's the Tribbles. And it's actually quite clever as well because uh, the, the first time you saw a Tribble, it was literally just a ball of fur. And I think they said in the behind the scenes it was clumps of cat and dog fur stitched together on a little tiny ball. So it's, it's not incredibly nice for the actors to hold. But that was basically it. That was very cool. Uh, yeah. Afterwards, what did we pull out after that? Uh, uh, I believe it stuff was, was that one, yeah. Uh, we've that got that a little uh, science vinyl figure. Should we open so it up or just point out which ones you can get? Because they're all listed. Uh, there. You can get. In the book, it's listed as Malcolm Reynolds and Firefly. Oh, open it up, we're going to open We, we <laughs> need keys. Oh, okay. What can you do with your manly hands? Oh, you can do it with his manly hands. Manly handly. <laughs> That's what you get from having a beard. A At least it's not like what Joe did before where. He uh, rips open the air freshener and I don't want to fumigates the entire studio. If you want to see that, just, yeah, watch our previous video, just, which uh, was Loot Crate Heroes, by the way. I wanna, there we go. It's very exciting stuff. I just had a really strange realisation as well. I'm wearing the same shirt that I did in the previous video. Ooh, I'm being very fumbly. In the previous yeah. video, Ooh, I was wearing this X-Men shirt. <laughs> extra packing. Extra packing, extra men. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna open it with his teeth. I'm not trying and succeeding. Okay. Oh, that's quite cool. That I like that. Cool. That what? is the, Ma the Malcolm Reynolds. Why Though for he... some reason he's got a Winchester revolver. And on top of that, why has he got no pupils? Uh, because he's just really angry. No, it's like it's like looking at Mal with the face of Spider-Man. <laughs> he's super high on drugs, and the pupils are just. <laughs> he's not got shoes either. He's got hooves. It's just like, he has got shoes, look, there are... I'm not complaining, I'm there not complaining, it looks awesome. the little Healy bits that Ew, you get off fine. Shoes. They're just very still modern, modern fashion You're taking that one on then? And the money. <laughs> I don't care. Of course, you're Dibs here on for the money. Dibs on the triple. Always <laughs> on the money. For the love of the that. money. We'll leave, him, we'll leave him out. So these were the savings, were they? So, after that awesome uh, final, that we then had, carry on with the Firefly thing, we have the money from the bank robbery. Uh, which was well pointed out because I nearly didn't realise what it was. But yeah, so you've got 10,000... It's not yen, what is it? Uh, they call it... Uh, space bucks. 10,000 space bucks space. from the Firefly. Uh, space balls. <laughs> space balls. Uh, from the money. It is really good quality. It's print, very actually. pretty, yeah. Space bucks that they it's robbed from nice. the space bank. I've never uh, seen money that pretty before. I wish they had money like this in real life. Yeah. Because right, right now I would have £10,000. I'd be very happy. It would be a real pain to try and fit yeah, in your wallet. It's very nice. <laughs> that is a, yeah, but you'd have a space wallet. For so. any, <laughs> any uh, Firefly fan, let's face it, that's going to be a great prop to have, you know, to go along with the, your Malcolm Reynolds or like me, the Jane hat. To have some real Firefly money is amazing. Uh, going through onto the aliens, because mm. you did the triple. We'll let uh, the man who knows most about aliens carry on with his description. 
Well, the other ones that are available, you can get an actual alien, which I think by the looks of things, it would have been really cool to have because apparently you can actually, it, the alien model has removable translucent dome, revealing a special lever which puts the inner jaws out. Oh, the, uh, and the tongue thing, yeah. After exposure to sunlight, the alien's head will glow in the dark. Really? Apparently, yeah, according that. to uh, the, the bottom. At the bottom. But um, the other models manip- that are available is Manipulate the... teeth to attack. His evil brains glow in the dark. Mm. Oh, that's quite interesting. And the other models we got were... Uh, Ripley with the flamethrower. The one we've got, which is uh, Kane in the Nostromo space suit. Is Kane the one Nost- that gets Nostromo. The... Nostromo. Ooh. No, I'm sorry. I love the Alien series. It's Libio one Thor. It's one... <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, one of my favourite films, okay? Dallas with the flamethrower, or Ash with the motion detector. Or the Ooh. alien, of course, which... Uh, w- well done to those who got the... Uh, I'm going to have a look at the space box. Here, alien, okay. because that seems really cool. That is actually really nice. Some really nice stuff in this one. <laughs> the closest thing I had to the alien thing was an alien Pez dispenser. That was really cool. Just like... It's and like cool the little thing. thing came out. Nice. And then we had the magnet. Yes. As we saw before. Which is uh, you know, asteroids with it's a Star Wars theme to Star it. Star Wars theme to it. Very cool. Very geeky. That was amazing. I think yeah. I think hands down, Going. Empire Strikes Strikes Back is the best one. Obviously. Yes. yes. And then you got Pop Rocks. Um, we could do a like sort of little orchestra thing where we just put it in our mouths and try and make music with the Pop Rocks. <laughs> I, I, oh, well, we'd be like, yeah, I'm up for trying that. Shall we try that? We'll do that at the end, shall we? Yeah, it could yeah. Be yeah, 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 okay. You can, we'll, anyway. we'll make a little thing, and it'd be amazing. Uh, Where were we? we? I think it was, we've done... We've done everything else, so it was that. Yeah. So yes, this is the final one that kind of was amazed about before. Uh, the Han Solo poster. Mm. Uh, you came up with a very cool idea, by the way, that you mentioned for posters. Oh yeah, um, if you want to get rid of the folds in it, put it on an ironing board, put a t-shirt over it, and then just iron over it. And then that will try. Then you've got something in between it, so it won't crease up when pinning it up. It, well, that, and it also won't burn the p- paper. Uh, if you want to be doubly safe, it might be worth putting it face down so that you're on the back. So if you do somehow get any marks on it, and if you use it's it, on the back, yeah. yeah. And obviously, this is uh, it's all coming through now as uh, Star Wars Seven looms upon us. Oh, don't get me started. I'm, no, on I trust, I trust JJ. No, 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 I, I, trust I do JJ. trust it. I'm just, I'm really excited. Oh, I thought you'd be like, oh, no. don't get me started on that. No, 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 I think he's doing I'm, a I, fantastic I, job so far. Uh, like for everyone that starts going, oh, Disney. Disney have done pretty much all the Marvel movies that are out today, including Guardians of the Galaxy. Which was amazing. Uh, and also you don't invest, what was it, four billion? Four, uh, somewhere in the region of four billion. I think it currently, uh, the current market still taking it. It's something like six and a half billion dollars. Six and a half. You don't invest that much money to then go. Well, let's just take a big steamy poo on this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, look at the double teenage mutant ninja turtles. But then that was directed S- by Michael Bay. Yeah, he. I'm, I'm still sore on that. He's just sort of. I, I imagine him to be there, sort of in the dark, with like a cauldron in front of him, mm. bubbling. He's just going. <laughs> Crashed the children's dreams. I watched Transformers 4 last night. He's a, I'm sorry, Michael Bay, you're a shoddy filmmaker. You really are. I saw so many mistakes. Uh, enough of the Bay bashing. Yes. Um, These are not we, the we films didn't... you're looking to make. <laughs> Moving on. Yes. Uh, of course, this is this is what we're getting in this one. Next month is for Halloween. Uh, I think it's terror, isn't it? Or is horror. it terror or horror? Fear. We're not sure. Fear. Probably well, there's something no doubt there's going to be something from the game Fear. But what is interesting is we've got a lovely little Halloween event coming up, haven't we, Dex? We do on the 25th of... <laughs> nearly forget the date. Nearly forget the date. <laughs> I nearly forget the date there. Uh, 25th of October, we're having a massive event in Dorchester. Um, in my, well, Dor- Dorchester, in Dorset. No. Here. Here. <laughs> here. <laughs> uh, right here on this couch. We'll be having live music. We'll be having Sounds zombie horrible. Zumba. Uh, we're even going to have a zombie run set up. Uh, Zombies. So you can have the experience of pure terror. Um, we'll also be doing a live loot crate unboxing for this. this. But uh, live with the fear. With all the people that are coming to you. I hope we will have that live streamed to you as well. Um, so you can enjoy that with us. And hopefully we'll see you there. 
Please stand by mm. for any technical difficulties that, that will ensue, <laughs> undoubtedly. No, fine. No, this is we'll perfect. Be fine. One take. What, we kind oh, of, yeah. what would be kind of cool, though, is we're obviously maybe get an actual audience looking at Well, us hopefully that, that will be the thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be me or Ty. Probably so, Ty. He's more handsome than me. <laughs> so what we'll get is we'll be like picking things up like a tribble. For, well, not a tribble, it's fear. But we'll get that and the audience will go, ooh. That'd be a zombie cool. tribble. This tribble. unfortunately <laughs> did not come in the loot crate. This is mine, so this is not going anywhere. It's a shame. It's a, it's a very me. cool hat, though. Uh, I don't know about doing competitions this month because there's so much in this crate that we all want. Uh, maybe we may try uh, competitioning off uh, some, <laughs> of the, some of the stuff we get for Halloween to the audience. So if you do yes. want a chance to win some stuff from us, make sure you're at our event. It's on Haviki's Facebook page. Get yourself involved. If you don't, why? Um, and again, it's been another amazing uh, Loot unboxing. Crate unboxing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next. And time. thank you to Ben for coming as well. No, this has been really cool. Thank you for having me. No, it's all right. So much cool stuff. <laughs> I really wish that I had actually subscribed. Are you going to subscribe now, though? Uh, maybe not for the fear one because I'm just. Like, I'm, I'm that's, that's the nice thing you can do. You can, I'm you can trying subscribe to subscribe to individual ones. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm thinking that it may be a case of uh, the, that one. I'm not too. There's not going to be much yeah. in there because I'm just thinking there'll that's probably be enough. what like a little Freddy Krueger version of this. So there'll be or Jason. A Jason. I want man. that. They do that. I'm happy. Actually, yeah. That's <laughs> thinking about it, that's actually pretty cool. Um, so now you're going to go an older one. Don't forget, <laughs> you can yourself get yourself. You know, subscribe to Loot Crate. Then you can post the videos up and we're happy to kind of share them. share them for you as well. Maybe get you in to come do one with us if you know, yep. double unboxings. Because sometimes there are different bits as shown here. We got one Aliens figure, you may have another. So yeah, yeah if you do, mm. get on there, get involved. It's always important. This was fun. I'm going to be a Star Trek nerd and say kapla to this video. <laughs> uh, shiny and goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> what? I can't hear it, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too much.